If someone is going to start a new exercise or training regime or wants to get a better judge of their fitness, one of the first things a professional would need to consider is what is known as their medical or lifestyle history. This might include any medication that they're on, the levels of alcohol or tobacco consumption which will affect both their cardiovascular and respiratory systems. They'd have to look for any symptoms they have Example, pains in their shoulders might indicate an existing injury. Their level of physical activity, so they don't overexert themselves, another way in which you can increase the risk of injury. Your family medical history, so whether heart disease is prevalent in your family history, would indicate that somebody is more at risk. And also any previous treatments that they've had, which can be planned for in the treatment to avoid aggravating an old injury. Before you start, a trainer might also try to ascertain your current fitness levels and there are a couple of basic measures they can use to try and work this out. This will also allow you to track your progress throughout the course. Most of these measures are built on the changes that happen to your body when you exercise. Your heart rate increases to provide your cells with more oxygen and to remove the carbon dioxide that's produced and your blood pressure also increases as a result of the increased strain due to the heart beating more strongly and more rapidly. This graph often comes up and shows how your heart rate changes during exercise. We're going to start off looking at the blue line. The level where the heart rate starts is known as your base rate. This is your heart rate when you are resting. When you start to exercise your heart rate rapidly increases. As you can see on the graph it plateaus at the maximum rate and only starts to drop when the exercise stops. The time that it takes to reach the earlier resting rate from this plateau is known as the recovery period. If you look at the red line, you can see the changes in a less physically fit person. The resting rate at the start is higher and the recovery period is longer. Using these measures, you can start to track how training is affecting your fitness. Another, more mathematical way that's commonly known and used is to work out a person's BMI. BMI stands for Body Mass Index and is worked out using this formula. See if you can have a go at working out this person's BMI. Did you get it right? The answer is 26.23 to 2 decimal places. This person would be just over the normal BMI range, which is from 18.5 to 25. It is thought that it's unhealthy for your BMI to be too high, but also to be too low.